In this tutorial, you will learn on how to recreate this trendy TikTok videos using Vegas Pro software. First, you will need to set your project settings into 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Luckily, I have someone that can help me out with this tutorial. She will be using her smartphone to take the videos and photos. We will be using Vegas Hub services to sync the videos and photos from her smartphone to Vegas Pro editing software. All of these were done seamlessly within Vegas ecosystem. Once the videos and photos uploaded to Vegas Hub Cloud, you can open Vegas Hub Explorer in Vegas Pro to view all of the uploaded videos and photos. From there, you can select all of them, right-click and press sync to start downloading the media into your computer. Then, you can simply drag and drop all of the media into Vegas Pro Timeline to start editing. However, the videos that we received was recorded in HEVC codec. There is nothing wrong with HEVC codec, it's just that HEVC codec is very hard to decode in general, hence the playback performance in Vegas Pro will be sluggish. To overcome this problem, I will transcode each videos to something much more editing friendly like Apple ProRes. To do this, simply double click on a video in the timeline to create a selection. Make sure loop region is enabled. Then, press render as via the master toolbar to load rendering menu. Select Apple ProRes format and choose any pre-made template and press customize template. Select custom frame size and make sure the width and height value is the same as project settings. Choose ProRes 422 profile and press OK. You can save the template for future use. I will export the video beside project location and press render. You will need to repeat the same process for all of the other videos in the timeline. Once you finish transcoding the video clips, you can import all the new videos into the timeline and delete the old HEVC video. Then, you can start cutting the video clip based on the music beat, following the C and TikTok trend. Pick any three pictures that you want to use for the first video and position them vertically across the video track. Then, you want to solo the very top video track to only view the top picture. Open pan and crop, enable masking and start tracing the person to cut it out from the background. You will repeat the same process for the other two picture. Once done, you will have something like this in the timeline. Next, you want to add marker, based on the music melody as reference for use to keyframe the picture later on. Each marker represent one image. Next, you want to cut the left portion of the image, based on the marker position. Open the top picture pan and crop to adjust the image position around the video, as in like the TikTok video. Uncheck Sync Cursor so that we can view the edit offset from the keyframe timeline positions. Start adjusting the first image position via the first keyframe. Once you're happy with the image placement, you can proceed to the next image by simply pressing the pan and crop button on the event to update the pan and crop window to the next image. As you can see, image in the center is positioned behind the other two image. I want to bring it forward. All I have to do is to move the image to top of the video track. Now if I scrub through the timeline, the image on the left appeared first. And the problem with it is that the person leg is cut off from the frame. To overcome this, I will simply readjust the event length with the other image, so that this image will appear later. So this will keep the cutoff section stay hidden. Now the final step would be keyframing the image to come into frame. Press the first image pan and crop to load up the panel. Then, you will need to move the event to left for 3 or 4 frame, surpassing the marker in the timeline. Extend the right portion of the event so it end right before the next video clip. Now move the playhead to the marker position and enable sync cursor on the pan and crop panel to sync the keyframe playhead with the playhead in the timeline. Add a keyframe point in the pan and crop position and move the playhead to the beginning of the keyframe timeline. Click the first keyframe point and simply drag the pan and crop gizmo out from the image frame. This will automatically update the keyframe point data. Then, move one frame forward from the second keyframe point and add another keyframe point. For this third keyframe data, you will need to move it few pixels away based on the animation movement. Since the image will appear from left to right, I will move another extra few pixels to the right. Next, you will need to copy the second keyframe point and move about two frame forward from the third keyframe point and paste the keyframe data that we just copied. This will emulate shake visual effect when the image stops animating. To make the animation look smoother, set the first keyframe to fast, the second keyframe slow, and the fourth keyframe to slow. For final touches, add linear blur to the image to create a motion blur. First, move the timeline playhead to marker position. 
Since we animate the image from left to right, it's logical to pick horizontal blur. I will use light horizontal blur. Press the animate button for the amount properties. A keyframe timeline will load up just below the OFX panel. Make sure sync cursor is enabled and simply add a keyframe point. Move one frame forward and set the amount value to zero to completely remove the blurring effect. Then offset the second keyframe to the right for few frames. As you can see, our first animated image now have a motion blur effect to it. Now, you will repeat the same exact edit on the next two image. Congratulations! The core editing to this TikTok video is finally done. You will do the same exact editing method to the next video. Now it's all up to your creativity on how you would edit the video. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Till next time and goodbye.